In this five minute Sono video, we are going to discuss how to identify an ectopic pregnancy. Now, this is not going to be a comprehensive review on what is an ectopic pregnancy and what isn't. Basically, we are looking for this as far as an intrauterine pregnancy. Anything outside of a fundal pregnancy is very likely an ectopic pregnancy. And if you need a review on how to identify an intrauterine pregnancy, please review that five minute sono video. Your probe of choice for this examination is going to be the curvilinear transducer. You can use the phased array transducer over here. And in some situations, you might be able to use a linear transducer over here, but this is very likely going to be the best transducer with the best resolution for what you need. You definitely can use a endocavitary probe as well, but for most of us, that curvilinear transducer is going to be the best bet. Now, to be able to identify a fundal pregnancy that is not in the interstitium or in the myometrium, one of the first things I look for is, is there a thickness of the myometrial wall completely surrounding that gestational sac of greater than five millimeters? If you see that, there's a good chance that it is not interstitial or myometrial. You can see here this measurement is 1.39 centimeters, which is well above our five millimeter cutoff. Here is unfortunately a gestational sac that does not have that five millimeters of myometrium around it. If you look over here on this side, you can see here that it's very minimal, just maybe a couple of millimeters over here. And this is very unlikely to be a uh, intrauterine pregnancy. I'm going to take a brief pause here just to let you know that all of our content is on the coreultrasound.com website. That is Ultrasound Podcast, 5 Minutes Sono, Ultrasound of the Week, Clip Bank, and we also have our courses page where we have the Core Ultrasound Fundamentals and Core Ultrasound Question Bank where you have 3,200 questions with feedback, including narrated videos explaining the question. Check it out and back to your video. Besides looking at the thickness of the myometrium around them, you can just look for the gestational sac not in the location that it should be. Over here, we're seeing bladder. I don't really see any uterus whatsoever. We're actually seeing the iliac vessels right here, and we're seeing this gestational sac just hanging out all by itself outside of the uterus right next to those iliac vessels. This is an ectopic pregnancy. Here is another ectopic pregnancy. This is the uterus using a endocavitary transducer, and we are seeing a bit of actual hemorrhage. That's what we're seeing over here. We are seeing an endometrial canal right here with a little bit of blood in it. And this around this area in the fundus is where we should be seeing that pregnancy. But instead, we're actually seeing it over here. This is that gestational sac not in the uterus where we want to see it. This is what an ectopic pregnancy looks like. Here is another example using an endocavitary transducer. Again, we have the uterus over here and then off of the uterus in likely one of the adnexa that kind of rolling around is that gestational sac. This right here is likely intestinal movement and we can see a bit of a blood vessel over here, likely the iliac artery. Here is a curvilinear transducer. We are seeing the uterus, the fundus in the short axis. We can see a bit of hypochloic fluid, a bit of an actual decidual reaction over here. But instead of seeing that gestational sac inside that uterus, we're seeing it down here. In fact, another example of an ectopic pregnancy. Now, when I'm evaluating a patient with a uterus of childbearing age, if they come in and they look sick, they might be hypotensive. I actually start off frequently by looking at the right upper quadrant, basically doing a fast examination. This right here is the liver tip. This is the kidney. And we're seeing a positive right upper quadrant fast in the setting of a patient with a uterus who has abdominal pain and is hypotensive. This is that same patient's pelvis. This is the uterus. Now, when we look at this, we might just not really be able to know exactly what we're seeing here, right? 
uterus here. This is the fundus. Cervix is down here. We have the vaginal canal down here. Decompressed bladder likely over here. We can see a little bit of free fluid back here, but it's not a lot initially. But we're actually seeing all of this right here. This is actually clotted blood. This is what clotted blood can look like. So be very careful with seeing clotted blood and thinking that it is actually a normal finding or intestines. That's it for this lecture on ectopic pregnancy. Here is my contact information. I hope to hear from you soon and happy scanning.